What's going on everybody? This is Saul Casanda with MCSC Green Wheels and I'm here with Staff Sergeant Reckless. Our 1993 Fox Body GT with a Coyote Swap Illuminator engine that we got in this bad boy. And as you guys can see, we're coming a little closer and closer to the end of this guy. And um, basically the idea is just getting them back together, making sure that we can test this engine to its full potential. Hopefully not break the car and or the engine in the process and just give us some data and whatnot just to keep everybody in the loop. Well, for today, what we're going to do is, like we promised you guys, we already installed our dash and uh, we got our Dakota all ready, snugged in there and in place. So there are a couple little details that we will be addressing. And today, one of the other ones that we're going to do today is the steering wheel. We showed you at the steering wheel, although... It's in decent conditions, not ripped, not torn, but if you look at it very closely, you can see there's a lot of little cracking going around and obviously natural for a 30 plus year old steering wheel, along with some other components like the turn signal switch along with the, uh, the, the multi-switch here that controls our turn signals, plus obviously our wipers. We're going to go ahead and swap that out because if you guys could see here, she's all faded and uh, you know, look at that, it's all gone. It's all gone there. So we got a new one right in here along with a little dash uh, cover and we're going to go ahead and finish this one up, button it up. We're also may see if we can get in touch right here and get this little guy out here because it was obviously painted by accident. We, we want to make it look good since we're already here. So a couple things that we're going to end up taking off. Obviously we're going to be taking off the airbag even though it's not going to be in use. We still need it for the other one. We're also going to be taking off these little buttons right here for our crews. Although not being used it'll look gross without them and we're just going to put them on there. We like the lights. Along with it we're going to go ahead and clean up a couple other uh, parts here. And also show you guys we got some other components from a couple other sources that are available for you guys to buy. Again a lot of people say you're doing a little uh, a lot of overkill, but you know what, man? If we're able to change it, let's change it out, man. Let, let me do it now, because if not, I'm going to regret it later. And I'd rather just be driving the car and go ahead and back, for, back and forth, back and forth, where I drove it one week. I don't like it. I got to do it again, and I'm going to sit down. No, no, no. I don't have time for that. I might as well get it down now and uh, put it together the right way. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward. The uh, airbag here, we got four 10-millimeter uh, uh, nuts, it looks like. So we're going to get those off before we get to the internals and then uh, we're going to go ahead and find some screws that will help us remove our uh, steering. Uh, I have the puller here but you know as we all know we need those extra screws. Wow this thing's pretty long. The folds of um, the plastic. There it goes. So yeah so I got two out. Let's get two more to go. So, to take off the, uh, in order for us to get the air box off, I mean the air uh, airbag off, there's four 10 millimeter nuts here, and we're going to reuse the buttons in here for our new, our new steering wheel, but, so before we, uh, there we go, that's, we got three, one more, and then our airbag should be popping out, because we're also going to replace our, our collar, I mean our, uh, our ignition here, because if you guys could tell, this is the original one, it's just old, and although we still have the original Ford key on here, you know, we're going to keep it, and we're just going to keep it for nostalgic reasons so we could stare and cry at it later, to remember a time when it was built in America. This bad boy should pop off, voila! We got a couple connectors here as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and get these guys off. That's one. Perfect. Again, not we're not gonna use this, so even though we're not gonna use it, it still serves its purpose to fill in that humongous gaping hole in the middle of the steering wheel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall it, reconnect it, even though it doesn't work or whatever. But uh, better to have it than not. So we're gonna give it a quick little bit of a cleaning on here. Here we're gonna disconnect our connector right here now this controls are for our two little our four buttons here also six in total we got two on top on each side and then we got these four guys right here we're going to carefully remove these once we get the steering column right off for the time being so let me uh, go ahead and do this now what I was telling you I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, it's bolt off and I have my puller but I'm going to have to go ahead and match for two of these screws in order to get it off safely Come on, buddy. There we go. There that is. 
is. Uh, again, I don't necessarily have to connect these, so that'll be a a call I'll make in a few minutes. But for right now, they're gonna come off, and uh, we're gonna remove all this carefully. Well, we got our airbag off now, and uh, you know, there's two kinds of steering wheels, guys. There's the one without the uh, um, cruise control setup buttons that you see here, and then there's the one with this one like you see here like the GT this guy's got his cruise control set up we got our steering wheel with the cruise control set up so we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the steering wheel first and then uh, take these guys off so we can reinstall them to our new and then right before we install it as you're gonna see right here so we're gonna take off the steering wheel this is a 15 millimeter and I'm just gonna hit it with an impact real quick just to get that off and then we're gonna hit it with our puller Simple as that that's it. All right, now we got our puller here. So if you don't have an impact, right. what are your choices? So if, uh, I would prefer, it would be nice if you get an impact because if not, you're going to be sitting here. If these guys get on there pretty tight, you're going to be sitting here yanking on it and you're either going to need some help and you may end up, you know, you may end up uh, uh, mauling something else that, or, or, or snapping the locking ring in there if you're just by yourself. So it's, it's nice to have a nice impact. Uh, I have this old electric one that's been running with me for quite some time, but it does the job. Uh, right now, as you guys could tell, most of these don't ever come off like after you've taken this off. So you definitely have to use the puller. I got like this guy right here. There's also a simpler one that's just a two-way, which is just a bar way across without these two. But this is kind of a universal for Chevys, GMs, Fords, Dodges, BMWs, anything that you want. So we're going to go ahead and use this one here. We also picked up two screws that we needed. And these are 516s. I didn't get them way too long because I didn't think I needed them because it's got a short throw in there. Now, let me see if... Uh, if I did the right choice, and uh, I got him oh, maybe a little too short, if you ask me. Pull this back on that. Yeah, I may have gotten him just a tad shorter than what I should have, but we're gonna work with what we got. down real quick now it doesn't go very far so that's the good part Getting this bad boy out. Where it jump? It actually kind of walks out, as you can see. It's got nice and smooth. It has a little bit of bite at first, and once you get it kind of loose, like you see it right now, we can back this guy off and we can easily move it out. And then we could guide our little wiring right through there. And there it is. And that's how simple that is. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these guys. We're no longer gonna have to use this to reinstall it, so that's good. Just go ahead and put the new one on. But like I said to you guys first, we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, our little uh, buttons here. And we'll show you how we did that. Perfect. That's one steering wheel off. And like I said, this one's not too bad. It's just dirty, old, and what we see like it's worn right there. And we're just gonna try and stay away from that. Uh, if we're doing all this work right now, the last thing we want to do is driving, and then it starts to tip. Then we got to get into the place where, oh, we're going to take it apart. And then we're eventually going to do this work anyway. So we're going to set this on the table and start taking it apart and dress up our new one. We can do it out, we can do it out here, bro. Mm -hmm. Or let me move something out the way. We're also going to remove this uh, turn signal switch, this turn signal cam right here. We're not going to use it, not because it's broken, but just because it's all faded away and we were able to get the new one. So this guy has uh, two T20 bolts and these are the torque wrench, torque, torque shoes. So there's one right here. That's it. That's one. And one on top, right up here. Be careful, I don't want to mar up my little plastic there. There we go. You can see it's starting to drop. And that's, that's perfect. Bam. And there we go. 
So as you guys know, we went ahead and take care of our connectors here. So we're going to go ahead and remove them as easy as possible without damaging them. tough man all these damn Ford plugs do that all right so we uh I'm gonna show you guys gotta take this one off right here now I'm trying to be careful because this is not a clip you just gotta have to pop it out from underneath I'll do it on that side but you gotta be careful with these guys back here because these guys can flick off and then you're really gonna have to see this one's gonna be flapping around so they kind of it kind of comes off the bottom and uh, I'm gonna show you on this side right over here I just take my little my pick here my bent pick and then I just kind of go right underneath here and then I just kind of move it across, try to make sure, and boom, off it went. See, now I added a little too much pressure, but again, I did not break them because when you install it, you gotta come in from this side and you'll see right here, this guy's got little notches right here. Let me get that up so you guys can see. You see those little notches right there? That's what these three little guys hook up to. So when you install it, you come in there like this and then you push down. So now we have it up, we're gonna take it off. And I guess while we're at it, we'll go ahead and clean it up and see if we touch it up with some paint. For the time being, we'll go ahead and remove our four buttons here. I'm going to show you, I started to move this guy out the way. As you guys can see, I started to lift it. Now it comes in from the top to the bottom, so it's from the inside, from this outside in. And we eventually have to remove this guard right here and disconnect so we can fish through the connections. So I'm going to get my screwdriver, let's get these off and set the it kind of snaps in place. But again, I'm trying to be very careful. As it, uh, as I pull it out. Years old. That's not even 30 years old, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, so this is about 30 years old, so there we go, bam. What it really seems that it does, it just, you see that little extra right there on both ends right here? It just kind of catches on the inside of here. So be careful when you, oh, also in here. So we're going to keep this guy because it's cool. It's got its own, uh, it's got its little paperwork here, uh, still original. So we're going to keep that there. And boom, these are exposed. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect these. Uh, there we go. And we're going to fish these through the top side. I'll show you right now. We're going to take this one off. And then this guy, since I already started fishing him out, let me see if I can get my screwdriver over here. I'm trying not to put too much damage into it or, or into the steering wheel as well, too. Even though it's all rubber and, you know, I just don't want to be, you know, you never know who it may help out. You know, we may be able to sit, it, sit on it and fix it or something, do something cool later. But for right now, I'm just trying not to create any more damage. And... Damn. There you go. So we fish this guy out through here. Now again, it's rubber, so you'll be able to finagle with it a little bit. I'm trying. There we go. And that's it. So before we install these, we're going to go ahead and clean them up and see if we can get, prior to us cleaning them up, we put some tape so we wouldn't paint that, you know, the little horn. But you guys could see real close, like, they're pretty dirty. So we're going to use some, uh, you know, some uh, some alcohol or something, just to give them kind of a quick clean, you know, clean them up real nice like, and reinstall them. Two guy off, you see right here? We got four bolts to go. And that screw would be not Phillips, right? What's that yeah, this is a, this is a Phillips. It's a, now we have to flip it down if it's a Phillips. Again, guys, be very careful when you put these down because remember, this is 30 plus years old. It's very brittle. Um, and even if it may not be, the last thing you want to do is break it. So I'm trying to be as careful as I can with them. And as you can tell, we're going to go ahead and clean them up before we reinstall them. I'm going to put those right there. And I'm pretty sure no one's ever removed these, so... A good thing now i know everybody's saying oh yeah but you guys are not even going to use the cruise control you're right you're right we're not going to even use the cruise control but you know what man we're going to keep it on there because we like the lights so there you go so there's our other two now this guy's a little bit trickier he's pretty he's, he's pretty well dug in there so you might want to get in there a little deep and you know get him uh get him to start coming out i'm i'm trying again not to break the housing so i'm going back and forth I'm trying to see if I can bring them out. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can get from underneath here. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I can. There we go. So you want to want to do that. And it helps out a lot. Let's see if I can go a little deeper. There you go. 
works a hell of a lot better than the first time I was in there. Just digging around there. And here he came out. Perfect. Bam. And there you go. And that, my, my friends, everybody out there watching in YouTube land, check it out. Decent steering wheel. Not bad, not beaten up, but, you know, it's just a little dirty. It's just, uh, you know, it's got a little notch. It's got some notches right around here and whatnot. You know, it's it's just getting, it's just getting beaten. You know, it's good with time, but beautiful. Now, this one was on LMR for $179.99 before taxes. So, depending where you guys are from, you probably won't get hit up with that sweet bite. Well, I mean, I guess we all get hit with that sweet Biden tax. But you won't get the Larry, uh, the Lori Lightfoot tax or whatever hell Illinois has going on now. But you guys can see for comparison reasons. I'm going to put it down right here. Man, it looks really sleek. I like the look of it, whereas the dash has a really nice shine to it. And you're going to have the offset from my... Uh, from the steering wheel and the dash pad, which they look almost the same. They have the same texture look. So I'm liking it. We went ahead and we touched up our airbag right here. See, just for you know, shits and giggles here. Mm. Mm, pointing it in. Okay, that doesn't look that bad. That looks actually really good. I actually like the look of it. I thought it was gonna have a off kind of look, but you know, the contrast of the steering itself to the airbag is gonna be a great, great addition. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this one up again. It's a little tough in there, but that's that's expected, being that it's a brand new steering so that looks pretty good i like the i like the look of it so you guys i'm gonna just sit it out there and uh you guys can compare let me know what you think yeah all right so like i said guys we're not going to toss it out we're going to hang on to it because it's not completely damaged so who knows maybe we find somebody in the field that can restore something like this and do some real cool leather wrap for it i don't know you don't know we don't know so for the time being let's see in the packaging let's keep moving on guys much thinking and uh, even though me and Mano Negro may sometimes not see eye to eye on some things whereas i like to finish faster but we are again pointing at each other that we do like to take our time with things and be very careful and as we bring you guys every little bit of video and content here on this channel, you guys have seen us that even though we've taken us some time, we like to do it right. Um, even though these are still working and I did take the, the, the time to take these apart, I'm going to show you guys that I got some what I got here. All right, Now, you guys could see all these little line work right there, right? Now, obviously it was my stupid ass that kind of just botched this, let's just say it at that. And uh, gave it a coating, but now what you see is the outline on that. I don't like how that looks. And for the sake of me not losing color and or the lettering, I was like, well, what do I do? How do I clean this up? How do I take care of this so I can reuse it? Um, I'm, I think I'm going to end up damaging them. So for the sake of not damaging them, knowing that I don't have anything spare or that looks good, I'm going to hold off on these. I'm going to reorder these. Now, I've seen them online. They're about, I think this was 60 bucks, and then it's... I think 60 bucks each one of the horn ones too so we're going to spend a little bit more cash on that since we already did this also the thing being that 
you can see it's this has got the scarring there and uh, I don't know I, I figure I guess we figure that we might as well just do it new since we're already there but uh, doesn't dismiss that I know that these guys light up and they work so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to them too as well probably put them in with the steering wheel and everything and then uh, just keep them for safekeeping so for the time being we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of like uh, go ahead and get these parts so you guys are gonna have to wait for that other part to come back out one of the other things that we that you guys saw while taking apart the turn signal switch which I'll show you in a minute one of the connectors uh, one of the clips kind of broke apart so let's go back in there and see what's going on there so this is the multi switch connector and as you guys can tell upon removal that's what happens now anybody that's worked on Fox bodies or any kind of Ford vehicle you guys know or you know what let's just name it for what it is every kind of vehicle out there in this good world of ours and the great America anyone that has these kind of connectors you know Ford is notorious for these connectors they live this is a brand new connector now I swapped all these out we bought these brand new these are brand new because the old one was already burnt in here and then we had to swap these out we also did the new ones to the steering column we have videos up on those guys so you can check them out so this is a brand new so I, I understand 30 years of brittleness and sitting in here in the heat on and off on and off and whatever electricity going through it and coming in and coming out I can understand this breaking but as you guys know uh, you know it's not always picture perfect so what I'm gonna do it too as well while ordering the buttons that I need for my uh, for my my steering car my steering wheel I'm also gonna go ahead and order that one again now it comes in a pack of three it's not just one or if i'm not mistaken maybe just singular because we got them all three we got all three of them it's called the multi-switch connectors and uh we pulled them off of a lmr so uh it's really cool that we can get them it sucks that we're gonna have to stop momentum right now but along with that we're gonna go ahead and, and, and correct a couple other things like right here this guy right here which he's all dirty right now that we have our column off and we have our turn signal cam off we're gonna go ahead and take this guy off and this right here as you guys know this is our button for our uh our uh, to to uh lock our unlock our ignition key and let the let it close so it's you can tell it just as a like crap so we're gonna go ahead and take this one off as well too and uh make sure that i get a good looking one or just clean this one up for the most part because it doesn't look too bad just got to figure out a way to get it off and uh put it reinstall it here so for the time being guys we're gonna go ahead and keep you in a little bit more suspense and telling you that uh, yes even though the steering wheel will look good and we're gonna install it and we'll finish this up just showing you some of the little crappy things that delays the build because we want to make it look perfect and i know that most people would be like well you guys are just being anal so be it I don't care we don't care so be it. it takes a little longer we're already here so let's just get it done oh so here i'm signing off guys everybody on facebook go ahead look for a car you'll probably find it there anything in the fox body community from uh thunderbird to uh uh Grand granada to uh fox body we post them up every day we look for them we scour every little bit that we can here in the usa people send us pictures please do better put the pictures we can't ask anything more we're not getting paid for this we're doing it at the bottom of our hearts I want to thank everybody on instagram thank you everyone who's gone on there and given us the eight g's thank you for following us thank you for every, everybody that comments on there please do keep doing it we're going to continue to keep bringing you this content as best we can and most importantly i want to thank everybody here on our youtube page guys thank you for showing up thank you for good comments thank you for everybody that supports this and i want to hope they run into everybody that we can along the road as we take this bad boy out to build. Once again, this is me, Saul Casineda, and this is Staff Sergeant Reckless. Let's get to the finish line. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon.